I recently signed a contract to play baseball for the Diablos Rojos, the most storied baseball franchise in Mexico. Apparently they thought it was a good idea to sign a guy straight off of YouTube. So in order to prove them right and to represent the YouTuber community the proper way, I'll have to travel to a new country. I forgot my passport on the plane. Integrate into a new team. Yeah! I'm a part of it, all right. Adjust to the altitude. Altitude is uh, kicking my ass already. Carefully navigate the media. Will you still have the same approach questioning uh, Manfred's actions and all other controversial things? <laughs> Make sure the fan base doesn't reject me. Fuck, king of Juco, man. <laughs> and actually perform well. Not ideal. Come on, Trevor. Figure it out. Oh, did I mention I'm pitching against the New York Yankees? That's a lot of pressure. Let's get to Mexico City. Okay, tell us your Espanol. Hablo poquito de Espanol, pero uh, yo tengo un gato en mis manos. <laughs> <laughs> and Kev's my new interpreter. I've already uh, screwed up once this morning. I left my computer sitting on my nightstand. Somehow picked up everything off the top of it and didn't put that in my bag. And just discovered it going through security. So Casey is rushing it down here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go meet up with him and try to get my computer. Okay, so I have 40 minutes until my flight board. It's 9.30. I have until 10.06 to be on my plane. Uh, hopefully he is here soon. Oh. Thank you, sir. All right. I appreciate Not it. You. Sure thing. All right. man. Good luck, man. Thanks. You got it. Save me. Okay, I have half an hour to get back to security and get on my flight. Thankfully, I have clear, so that should be a breeze. Well, we have retrieved the computer. People must have their content. I appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, man. Thank Good you. luck with everything. Appreciate it. Even at risk of missing my flight. I made it. It's you made it. an absolute idiot, and I will not let you live this down. Assuming he makes the flight and all goes well, this is fantastic, because now I have something to give you shit about. Always preying on my downfall. Unbelievable. <laughs> No, Chalupa, the people need their content. I just would have gone later. There's more flights to Mexico City. There's only one laptop. False. You need to get to Mexico City today. The game is not for another, like, 80 hours. For your press conference is tomorrow. There's plenty of flights. JSX goes out of Scottsdale Airport. Not to Mexico City. I was wrong about that. Uh, Kev, when you're editing this, after every time Rachel says something, just cut that clip in. Okay. Got it. Kev, did Rachel tell you that she uh, ditched you? That she paid to get a ticket that wasn't next to you? Well, yes, because I was worried when she sent me the first itinerary. Didn't match up with my name, but it matched up with her name. Later on, I find out that they made a new confirmation for my name because she went and upgraded her seat. Oops. I was wrong about that. <laughs> Step number one, travel to a foreign country is complete and I lied. I forgot my passport on the plane. It was in my bag the whole time, actually. Oh my yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. These things usually come in threes, so we gotta watch out for what's next. Take two, part one of the journey complete. We are now in a foreign country. Let's move on to step two of the process. What'd you get? A Ray Chalupa jersey. <laughs> they, have, uh, they have presents waiting for us. A jersey and a hat. Yeah. And cameras. Well, Rich, if your red hair didn't stand out before, we definitely stand out now. Dyed my hair red just for this. Your red hair, my red jersey and hat. Good morning from Mexico City. We made it to the hotel, had some dinner, got a good night's sleep, so it's time to go meet the team. One thing I have already learned is you must be clean shaven, just like the Yankees. Got a good shaving last night. Let's go see what's up at the stadium. I'm not special. No, that's why. That's why everybody. No, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Oh, welcome, yeah. okay. Are oh, you want a tunnel or do you want to dance? Are those my only two options? Hey, just one? You, choose tunnel. Dance. Oh, you got two choose tunnels? dance. Yeah. I'll choose tunnel. Oh, really? Yeah. What is tunnel? Hey, yeah. Dance. They want to see your move. Huh? They want to see your dance move. I, I was told I could get a tunnel or dance. What do you want? Tunnel. Tunnel. All right. Let's see. What we got? No running. Uh, no running. No running? Okay. I'm a part of it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not part of the team. That was the PG version. PG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why'd you give me the PG version? <laughs> Happy to be here. 
Welcome, man. You know, have the opportunity to go back to the show and, and continue showing you one of the best. Yep. And the best baseball in the world. Okay. Thank you. you. One of those. I feel proud about having you here. Okay. Thank you. Just happy to be here for right now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Good. let's fuck the Yankees up. Altitude is uh, kicking my ass already. Out of breath in the first bit of the warm up. It's good. Hey, does the wind blow in or out here? Uh, it depends. Sometimes that way, sometimes this way. You know, most of the time it's that way. So lots of homers? Yeah. Great. I only give up homers. That's it. Yeah. If I give up runs, home run. Anytime people get on base, nothing. Yeah. Many probably like high. The roof is really cool. The stadium's awesome. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to monitor my warm ups because my heart rate's gonna go crazy quick. I'm used to training at sea level. <sighs> I'm out of breath. So a longer time to warm up, but more time in between sets, probably. <laughs> definitely curious to see how the ball breaks. <laughs> Oh boy, I feel like everything's gonna be straight. Anyway, by Sunday, you know, we're gonna go inning by inning the way with the altitude, you know, yeah. they will let me know. Maybe play three innings and people just people yeah. change or whatever. Uh -huh. And so, yeah. how it goes in spring training. Very dry here, too. Yes, no is. moisture. It is. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, caught a cleat. These are my cleats I had in 2020 with the Reds but I never wore this pair, so oh, okay. brand new out of the box. I can already tell my fastball is staying left because yeah, right. it's, it's not like grabbing in the air yeah, and coming back. Yeah. I gotta adjust my eyesight. Yeah. That was better. So the first part of this pen is gonna be focused on eyesight and seeing how the, uh, seeing how the ball breaks so I can calibrate my eyes with the movement. Okay. If I get the hand out and get the ball down. Let's go uh, cutter. Okay, so on the cutter, I gotta get the pointer finger through the ball more. So that's one adjustment. Let's try a splitter. Okay, so everything with seam shift wake is cutting. What is the adjustment for that? I don't know. There we go. Let's do a uh, slider in the middle. Get the lay, get the lay. I think the slider will be fine as long as I get it in my fingertips. Slider will be good. Got a good feel for that one. Curveball is going to be the tough one. Now let's see if I can actually put one on the plate. I distance was right. Left to right was not. Okay, let's try backdoor sinker. Let's see, hopefully it sinks instead of cuts. Just need to get the hand through the ball. There we go. Throw a couple out of the windup. Okay, we'll go with the uh, quick pitch. And we'll go with the slide step. Go with a pause leg kick. Just need to keep my posture, like I can't let my body go this way. Just need the posture to stay straight forward. All right, last one. Get a fastball down away for a freeze on a righty. Very good. Gracias. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Splitter. Sí. Good. Sí. Good. Okay. See, and yeah. the adjustment you make with the sinker, and then with the slider was good. Yeah. The the rotation that you had in breaking ball is dirty. Good. Yeah. Well, good to see. Thank you. Good job, Papa. Thank you. I think splitter and four seam will be good. And curveball and slider are gonna be a little bit less movement-y than I'm used to, which could actually be good. They might tunnel a little bit more. I'm still unsure about the cutter. I gotta turn the cutter into like a true cut fastball instead of like a gyro slider, because I think the gyro slider is just gonna pop out of my hand a little bit much. Like probably the biggest adjustment that I have to make is just making sure I get ahead in the count. Because if I get behind in the count, then having to throw worse breaking balls or lame duck fastballs for strikes is gonna be devastating, especially at altitude, because those could be homers. Strike one, turn the cutter into a true cutter, and just, Rip everything else, should be fine.
What do you got? That, that, your buddy that you're always... Erickson? <laughs> well, how I laugh at those videos. Yeah, like he's, he's fucking crazy. The craziest part, too, is like the guy you see in the videos is him 24 seven. Always. He's no different. He wow. walks in the building, he's like, what's up, motherfuckers? Like, fuck you, fuck. It's like, oh my God. I always laugh, I see the videos, I'm like, dude, this guy's hilarious. Yeah, he's great. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Oh, right on you, Kev. Ah! Get <laughs> <laughs> run my, Gotta run my sprints. <laughs> All right, don't give a shag. They got the rookie on bucket. I haven't done bucket in like 10 years. It's always a tricky dance at the bucket because the balls never all make it behind the net. And then you're looking down to pick up the ball, but people are hitting missiles at you. The worst ones though are the ones that end up like right here because you don't think anything of it and you lean down, but then balls can get you. What up? Your slider. So I, I hook the seam here and then just so I have a little bit of control. Yeah. And I kind of press the ball onto this part of my... Okay, so yeah, we're almost the same. Yeah. I'm more, I'm more this way. So I'm on this seam. Okay, yeah, you're yeah. On, you're on this seam. And then I just, I just lay my fingers on top and I think pressure on the pointer. Okay. And that way, like, you can, you can this ball just, like, yeah. pops out of my hand. There's, see, when I get here, because I supinate so much, I get here and it ends up, like, it, there's too much depth to it. Okay. It gets, and then, like, it's still, like, minus 16, but it's, like, minus 8. Yeah. And it's too close to my curveball. So when I think pointer, it's like minus 17 to minus 20, but it's off. zero line. Yeah. It gets rid of this like wrapping in the front and it yeah. turns it more into like just pushing the side of the ball, which is what I want. Because if I want depth, I just bang a curveball. Yeah. Because I have a really good like top spinner. Yeah. So the slider and my curveball are basically the exact same thought process. Like yeah. I'm spiked on the curveball. So I think stiff wrist and come through it and it rips off the middle finger. I think the exact same thing on the slider. I think stiff wrist come through it, but comes off the, the middle, finger. but then the, the pointer is there okay. and it just like, pushes the side of it yeah. and that's how it gets the, the side spin. What do you got? When you're playing cast, what do you like what are your key points? Like depends, get out of your cast play, like you know what I'm saying? Depends on the day. So today I usually don't play catch. Yeah. Uh, I just give my body like full recovery. Uh, -huh. uh day two I'll play catch and it's all about uh any like leftover like feelings from the game like okay my hip was late or my leg was weak on the front or I was whatever I felt in the game. Right. Cause I, I'll, I refuse to make any like mechanical adjustments mid game. Cause I, then you just start thinking about it and everything gets worse. So day two is about feeling any mechanical stuff and at low speed. It's just like, let me just feel the patterning. Um, generally my biggest cue is to keep my posture stable. Cause I like, I used to be like way over the top and dump off. Yeah. So if I can think like, almost like I have a stick going through like my spine through my head and I can't like move it. So I'm just rotating around it like that. That way I can keep my eyes stable. So those are my two big cues usually is like keep my eyes stable and like keep my posture stable. Day three is like a little bit of a long toss day. It's a bullpen day. But that day I'm trying to be like athletic and move. I find that if I spend too much time just kind of like doing this and catch play, my mechanics go to shit. I just like you move my feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's all I'm trying to do. It's basically simulating like playing shortstop, yeah. throwing off balance. Your body feels a lot more athletic that way. Yeah. And you stop like all the little things that you kind of feel when you're like, when you're doing this, like, oh, my hand didn't quite get there. Or like, oh, my gloves, I was a little bit late. When you're being athletic, you don't know what it's supposed to feel like. And then when I, like, after I do like 20 throws, I got to throw out of the stretch or wind up or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's so easy. I'm just like in a different position making a throw. And because when I'm being athletic, I'm still like trying to pick up and hit a target. Yeah. My targeting is already dialed in. So I literally just like grab the ball. I'm like, oh yeah, throw it. And everything lines up. My hip goes first, my posture is stable and all that. So usually day three and four is like athletic catch. And I modulate the intensity, of course, to yeah. monitor like how my body's feeling make sure i'm ready for the start but it's just trying to get out of like thinking too mechanical yeah. and just like feel natural if i could redesign like throwing programs for pitchers i would never have people play catch in the outfield i'd have them like throw like 10 or 15 and get their arms loose but then go play shortstop or play second yeah, base play. set up a target at first and compete with like you have five seconds once the ball is hit to catch the ball and hit the target. And let's have a pitcher competition. Lefties play here and throw across the diamond. Righties play there, throw across the diamond. That way you get your targeting and you get your athletic movement. And then pitchers would stop mind fucking themselves and like, oh, I have to like this and like my glove needs to be like all this shit. Yeah. No one else does that. It's, it makes no sense to me. Look at all the position players. You take a catcher, you take a shortstop, you put him on the mound, he throws 96 for like two months until the pitching coach gets with him and then he throws 90 and can't find the zone. And every time they put a position player on the mound, they'll throw like mid 80s and they'll box strikes nonstop. And us pitchers are like, oh, I have to this and I have to feel that and uh, my glove this. And then we fucking walk the house and yeah. throw 92. Like just go be an athlete. You know, pro ball, like everyone goes and plays catch. Like I can't just be the one guy that's over here. So I just try to simulate it in my catch play. Just move different ways. 
pick a ball up off the ground and make a play. I just try to simulate those things. That way my body's always in a slightly different position. So my brain's always having to engage to figure out how to move like that. And then it just all becomes a lot more natural. Thank you, bro. Anytime. <laughs> so if you want to work on a pitch, just go throw it at 70 off the mound. Yeah. And that way at least you have the slope. I feel like sometimes too, like when you see high school kids get drafted, right? And then like they get into pro ball and then like two, three years later down the road, they're all just like, fuck. Stop Absolutely. Like or their only goal is to throw the ball hard because that's what gets them drafted. Right. So they're like optimizing for being explosive, powerful, moving athletically, sequencing, all this different stuff. Not that they know that they're doing it, but they just, in order to get to that level, they have to do that, right? Yeah. So now you get into pro ball and you have the freaking extended pitching coach. It's his first year in pro ball. He was just a player. He's never coached before. You know, okay, like make sure you like you really feel this and like set your hands here instead of there and like pause it here and you just suck all the athleticism out of them. And on top of that, you stop playing the other positions. You stop moving athletically and so your body gets lazy. I was with uh, Kenley Jansen in uh, 2021 and we had the same conversation. I was like, dude, when you came from being a catcher to being a pitcher, you were throwing 98 mile an hour cutters and no one could touch you. What was your throwing program then? He's like, well, I didn't have one. I'm like, exactly. Why don't you make your throwing program go throw as a catcher from home to second, get the ball and try to do that or like go play the infield. So his throwing program was like, he'd long toss just to get loose. And then he'd go like throw from his knees behind the plate or he'd play third base or whatever. And in 2021, his average velo jumped like three miles an hour. And like, we all care. And so we're like trying to like, get yeah. better, trying at the wrong things and just making us worse. Of course, there's times like if you're trying to make a big mechanical change, yeah. like there's definitely times where you have to sit there and just be like, all right, I got to do a thousand reps of this one movement to like try to fucking get it. Kind of touching back on Japan, is there anything from there that you kind of took? They do very little weight training. They do a lot of mobility and like body weight, like random positions. Like they'll squat like this, like with a bar or something like that and like do turn squats. So I like a lot of that stuff because it's again, putting your body in like different positions. I feel like in America, we just get taught like, okay, you squat, you have to put your feet like this. It's the same thing and like, just do this. Right. You're training a one very specific motion pattern, yeah. but that you never use that on the field. So I like some of that stuff. I think there's a little bit of a hole in that system because they don't do enough strength training. They wear down as the season goes along and they're only pitching every seventh day. Yeah. I like a lot of those like movement based things, especially once you get to like, by your mid twenties, you've developed all the strength that you're gonna yeah, have. Exactly. You've done all the squats, you've done the deadlifts, you've done the bench presses. Like at that point, strength likely isn't gonna help you a ton, but like being able to use the strength will help. And so doing those different positions, they do a lot of like single leg stuff, balance stuff, which I like. They do a lot more running. Like every day pitchers are doing like, uh, you know, poles, but they're running, they'll do, they'll run with like weighted balls and stuff. So you're having to kind of like, they'll like run with it over the head. They'll run with it like off to the side. They'll run with water bags. So you're constantly having to adjust. It's a lot about like body awareness, which I really like that type of stuff, yeah. But I, everything with me goes back to putting your body in uncomfortable positions and new positions because that's how you develop athleticism and awareness. What's up, brother? Good. You're fucking nasty. <laughs> Felt good. It was fun. Bro, you look fucking nasty. <laughs> they say it's lighter, don't do nothing. You're too fun. <laughs> Velo, Velo good? 96, 98? I remember when you were throwing the dojo. 93, 94, by the 7, 98. <laughs> Usually when I get mad. Too many base runners. Ugh, bah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, all you can do is pitch ball, though. You know, I never got, I never gotten a hundred, though. That's oh, one. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. I, I got to get it before I'm done playing. Good to see you, brother. Good, Good luck this year. Yeah. Let me ask you about your family, man. Yeah. Uh, my so my mom and my dad. My dad's family is from New Mexico. Yes. So they're uh, half Spanish. But my uh, my grandma's maiden name is Martinez Chavez, and then she took she added Bauer to the end when she got married. After a flight, sometimes you feel sluggish. Plan for the workout today is go fast, try to move things explosively, get the nervous system going, take a nice easy day tomorrow, run a couple sprints, get the nervous system going again, be primed and ready to pitch for Sunday. Normally on bullpen days, I would do a little bit heavier of a lift, but trying to adjust to a new altitude and uh, get ready for the game on Sunday, I figured I'd keep it a little bit lighter today. All right, so we have broad jumps, get the glutes going, we had lateral jumps to get the quads going. We had a banded bench press to get the pecs. Banded high pull down to get the lats. So we're hitting our major groups right here. We're gonna finish out with some switch jumps and then uh, that'll be it for the workout today. Yes. Ready. 
Ready. You look good. Feel good. Red looks good on you. Yes. Last time I wore red, I won Cy Young. Yeah. I like red. Trevor, <laughs> welcome to the most important team and organization in Mexico. It's time to win, it's time to win. You know, I'm, I'm excited to be here. The, the history of the Diablos, um, the amount of championships, uh, the passion for baseball. I'm a competitor, I want to win. So we have a great team here, a lot of great guys, great players. I'm passionate about spreading baseball around the world, um, getting more fans interested in the game, getting more kids to play the game. And with where Mexican baseball is right now, I think it's a great uh, partnership with Diablos to help do that. Hi Trevor. Hello. I am the president of Diablos. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Nice Welcome. to meet you. Oh. Welcome. Thank you. Anything Good to be here. you meet, I'm ready for help. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. GA. How you doing? What's up? Good to see you. How you doing? You, How you doing? It's been dude? a while. You yeah, good? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feeling? Good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. To seeing you today, yeah. Dude. Yeah. You in there? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. What uh, what pitches you want to hit? <laughs> Which one do you feel best about right now? Uh, all of them. All so. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Altitude, man. Altitude is tough though. <laughs> Slider doesn't break. Curveball doesn't break. Fastball doesn't break. Does it play a little break. different? Dude, Even with. You played in Colorado. Yes. This is worse than Colorado. If How's you guys feeling though, good? Good. Yeah. yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Hit, uh, I saw, than I, ever I saw have. obviously you got some innings in uh, against the Dodgers. It yeah, like, yeah, two or three out there. Yeah. Sat like 97 and a half for, yeah. the, for the outing. Harder than I've ever thrown. Good so looking forward to the game. It's supposed to be a decent environment from what it sounds like. Yeah, they say the fans here are crazy. Yeah. So yeah, should be cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, there I am. My face looks very red. <laughs> Put an HSL on that. Take the reds down a little bit. My goodness. <laughs> hey, what's How up? You, good to see you. Good How are you? you? How are you, man? How are you feeling? Good. 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 Feeling good. You? Man. Yeah. Feel, I feel young, you know. <laughs> you feel young. Yeah. I'm the old one. <laughs> How are you feeling? That's the question. So now I retired like almost two years, and man, as soon as I wake up, everything, <laughs> everything hurts. Somewhere. Ankles, knees. As, so, as soon as you stop, everything yeah. starts hurting. Yeah. And what are you looking forward uh, this season with the Diablos, playing with them, and uh, not distracting about uh, MLB? I try to focus on my training. I try to focus on scouting reports and knowing the hitters and competing and stuff like that because when I take the field, I want to win. It's in Mexico City, but yeah. what is the difference that you felt? Well, the altitude is one, for sure. Um, yeah. I'm breathing harder a lot, so I got to get in, in better shape. Big Thank fan you very of, much. of yeah. all your content. Thank you, appreciate it. Hey Trevor, um, so I want to talk about uh, MLB. All right. Okay, in case of your returning to the league, will you still have the same approach questioning um, Manfred's actions and all other controversial things? <laughs> No, I will not. I just want to play baseball. That's all. So. Muchas gracias. Estamos con Trevor Bauer, lanzador de los Diablos Rojos del México. Trevor, thank you so much for your time. Yep. Thank you for this interview with ESPN. Trevor, how it's been in these days that you arrived to Mexico? How it's been for you? It's been great. Um, I mean, the Diablos organization has been very welcoming. Facilities are great. Players are great. Organization's great. They've been. Everything's been really fun. Trevor, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Appreciate, man. Thank you very much. And have fun. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey Trevor, yeah, I love second. your TikToks, man. Okay, no, Thank no. you, man. I appreciate it. Fuck King of Juco, man. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Lift small, bump the ball. Lift small, bump the ball. Hey, how many of you guys Trevor. subscribe to my YouTube channel? I am. I am. Okay. Right. 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 I follow you right. on TikTok and everything. Right. I love right. you, Trevor. Come on. Right. Thanks, man. man. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, a Diablo's Yankees hat. That's cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We wish you good stay here in Mexico, but Thank we you. know that your level is a little you know, in a certain place. Thank you. Uh, one selfie. Thank you. Yep, one more, one more hat sign and then selfie and I gotta go. Good luck. Thank you. I, it's crazy. Everybody, everybody's like behind the scenes, it's players, coaches, GMs, yeah. everyone we talk to that's a baseball person, is like, we'd sign you in a heartbeat, we take it to ownership, it's a hard no. And no owners will meet with us, no owners, they won't give us a reason why. I'm like, I'm offering to play for literally the league minimum. Like, you have to pay that spot anyway. Well, good luck, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys, yeah. Nice meeting you. How are you, Papi? Good, man, you? Good to see you. Same. Good luck. So give myself 10 minutes for dynamic, five minutes to rest. And what's the uh, the devil? Is it like five minutes for weighted balls? 
Oh, like this? This? Okay. 10 minutes to throw, that's 30 minutes. Signs today. Five minutes to rest, 10 in the bullpen, that's 45. What you got for me, baby? No, no pitch comp, just signs. And five before the game, regular, what you want, what regular you, baseball. What you want with me in a second? Uh, one sign, I don't know. Something like that. Let's go! I'm excited. I'm gonna go take some pre-workout, the adrenaline going, throw a hundred. Feel good. There goes nothing. Three swinger, chase the fastball away. Okay. There he is. There we go. 95-97 the first inning. I didn't throw any as hard as I could though, so now that we're rolling, we'll get through the second inning, start letting some fly. Dude, this atmosphere is cool. It's like 21,000 people, but it's, it feels like a lot more. The is pretty sick. I like the I like the vibe. I like the roof. <laughs> it says welcome to hell on the scoreboard. I love that. Hey Robbie, no triple? No, 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 no. Too, too old for triples? Yeah, <laughs> Bro, I got a ticket game. I got to go to the hotel. <laughs> hey, the King of Juco Bruce Bolts would fit in down here color-wise. White, gold, a little teal action. But don't buy King of Juco stuff. Buy Trevor Bauer stuff instead. There it is. Stop. Now we go cut her on your hands. Now we gotta speed you up. Doors. How do you feel? Great. Do my favorite situation. Yeah. Fuck this guy. I Dude. got the money on you, okay? Ah. Ah. That's the sword, ladies and gentlemen. Get your sword merch, Trevorbauer.com. Go. Chalupa, is that was that domination? How would you rate that on a domination scale? Ten being super dominant, one being not dominant at all. What do you think? I, I give him a five. Average? Average. He stressed me out. What's wrong about that? That's my favorite situation. I was just trying to have some fun. Chalupa's got it as a five on the domination scale. Tom of what do you think? Playing music, like you're in between each pitch, right? Yeah. It's awesome. That's great. Like, Atmosphere is awesome. Yeah, keep Super high. I'm a big fan. Yeah, the atmosphere here is great. I, I missed it. That's my fault. When I did it, I thought it was a full swing. And so I didn't do it. And I was like, oh no, that was a check swing. That was a sword for sure. I fucked it up. I won't make the same mistake again. Don't worry, I got you. Dude, I'm kind of small. Like, I'm not. I gotta get more jacks, you know? More mass. I tried a couple times. I threw two pitches as hard as I could today. I think only 98. Yeah, I gotta look at track, man. My top ever is 99.38. I can't stop playing baseball until I hit 100. That's my, that's like my deal with myself, you know? All right, Stan, see what you got for me today. There we go. Oh, there it is. Got the splitter down and got the swing. Do we dare go to it again? I think we do. Yes! Splitter for the win, baby. Hey, bueno, bueno. Good game, good game, good game. I don't know what we're doing here. Good job. Good game, good game. Good job, good job. Good job.